What is up? What is up? Welcome back to Air Power. We got a box. We got something here today, you guys. We got the Hot Sun Blitz in 30 cal in. I was excited to get this. We're going to unbox it today. I wanted to go ahead and film it, being filled on film after I unboxed it. But my wife's asleep and the young hen is awful loud. We may carry it out into the shed and fill it a little later. Um, right now I have some two boxes here. I'll go ahead and get started you guys. And you know how I like to just roll on with these because uh, long days at work and I uh, had a side job I had to set up for tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get this going. These are my pellets, and it looks like they used a tape roll, which is pretty cool. Use the tape roll, empty tape roll, to go ahead and stick the pellets in here, and uh, roll wrap the pellets. It's a pretty good idea of not wasting your tape rolls, I guess. But they kind of got, got it wedged in there really good. These are the Vortex Strike Pellets. 48.60 grain, 130 cal. buddy of mine would say the wind direction finder but I won't ever use it get in guys you see those pretty good I also have a secondary camera set up over here to try and get different angles when I unbox this. Now this is the only tin I have right now. One of you guys, my subscribe subscribers, you're sending me some tins of JSB 50 grains. That's awesome dude. I really appreciate you. We'll get it here and uh, we'll do an unboxing of that. I did happen to find last night online on uh, I believe it's Utah Air Guns. I, I found the JSB 50 grains and I bought two tins from them. So my subscriber said he's sending me two tins of those. Plus I'm getting two tins. So I have four tins of the 50 grains and then I have these 100 pieces of the Vortex Strike here. Let's set these to the side so we don't knock them off when we unbox this pretty boy right here. Now this Hot Sun Bliss 30 cal came from Midway USA. When I checked the other day, they still had some in stock. Uh, and when I ordered this from Midway, my table is unlevel. My goodness. When I ordered this from Midway, they went ahead and uh, called me the next day and uh, asked me if this is my information am I the one that I probably cut this way more than I needed to it doesn't look like I'm here. they went ahead and called me and asked me if I'm the one who ordered this can I give them that, my information make sure it's me since this is a thousand dollar rifle they want to make sure I'm the one that used my information to purchase this I was like yeah that's me it's cool this is my information and I, I told them they had a YouTube channel I was going to give them a shout out where I got this and uh, she said okay that's cool so they went ahead and uh, she said I'm going to upgrade your shipping because this was supposed to be here on the 19th or the 20th 
And uh, I said, okay, cool, upgrade my shipping. I didn't think much about it. Then I got an email that said, this would be here on the 5th. And I was like, wow, she really upgraded the shipping. There's that beautiful hot sun box. Here you go, Luna. Here's your box. My cat loves boxes. And my hot sun box here, the box it was shipped in was also had this on it. I kind of like these boxes, so it sucks that this has a hole in it. It's tore up. So, brand new product. Must up. Thank you, UPS. Great job. Bathroom break reading material. A little safety card for your PCPs. That'll get looked over. Always look over your instruction manuals. Here's your goodie boxes with all your goodies in them. Did I mention I have a secondary camera set up for different angles? Y'all hear a lot of banging? My cat has done lost her mind. Uh, whoa, I don't know what she, she thinks. Whoa. Okay, so. On the side it says these come with two magazines. It's a magazine. Two magazines. Two magazines. And, uh. How you do this, Macamy? Supposed to be able to hook them together somehow? I'll have to look into it. Wait. Yeah, you can hook them together. Check this out. Three magazines. I don't know if they just did this because I told them I was going to put this on YouTube. And shout them out but the website says two mags they gave me three I love it not complaining whatsoever three mags that is very nice your field probe your extra o-rings you know if you own PC PCPs you know that all the stuff this thing comes with these are 16 rounds Mags. Mm. There should be a tool on the rifle that you put on the back of this magazine to go ahead and turn it to, uh, it says open. And then you, t you put that tool on here and turn it to uh, go ahead and set it to load your pellets in spring loaded you can actually turn it with your fingers and hold it if you just prefer to do that but there is a tool on the rifle that you can put on the back of here if you would like that is very cool they sent me three magazines man I'm definitely going to have to buy more pellets for this pellet eating beast right here. This might just be a protector thing for the end of the barrel here, but I may find some kind of use for this little grill. Okay. I don't even want to get fingerprints on it. <laughs> there she sits. Let's get this hot sun box out of the way. So 
That's how UPS destroyed it for me. Another gun case. Obviously. Until I can build me a gun cabinet for these to sit in like this. I want my gun cabinet so I can hang these in the gun cabinet and not have them sitting like this. Now this this came with a uh, the same thing my flash came with. It has this little rubber protector over it. Now I'll be removing this carry handle to install a scope on here. Don't know what scope I'm going to use yet. I may use the scope that it had on the bully. I believe it's the Optima because I'm going to try and get the tack vector to put on the bully since it's a short stubby scope and that bully has a short stubby stock on it so I don't want a big scope on that I think it would fit nicely you have your Picatinny rail you have three sets of Picatinny rails on the bottle holder here this is actually metal the bottle holder whoop this part's plastic the bottom part feels like it is a metal but this part is plastic bottom parts a solid piece of metal around that bottle I thought this was a uh, this is probably for the sling, okay. This is a thing for the sling. This is a Picatinny or Weaver mount. I don't know which one it is, Picatinny or Weaver. Maybe the Picatinny. And you have your mount under here, of course, for your scope. This hand, this carry handle would have to move. There is a screw right under this door that you put your mags in here that you could set to uh, go ahead and make sure this door is flush with the bottom of your magazine. It came with no air. If you can get that on camera, there's no air in there. If I'm on film, I don't know. Whoa. Okay, this is just grease. It looked all messed up. There's the fill hole. It was full of grease. I thought it was all bent up stuff. It scared me for a minute. <clears throat> and they say there is no way to decock this rifle. This is the safety. I like the safety under the trigger. Fully shrouded barrel. Probably has baffles in here to silence it down. Adjustable cheek comb. Here's that tool for your magazines. Put on the back of your magazines to rotate it and uh, load it. And I usually lose little stuff like that. No way to decock the rifle. That did not decock it. So be careful. You cannot decock these. Make sure all your rounds are spent and there's no round in the chamber. Um, it's not heavy at all. It's really nice and beefy. This is a semi-auto, which is what it's on now. Semi-auto. Full auto. Maybe that'll break in a little better. It's a little stiff. Full auto, semi-auto. Pretty lovely. Made in Turkey. It is a... Do-do-do-do-do. 500cc bottle. I don't see where it says that, but uh, 
310 bar. That's what that says on the bottle. Looks like you filled the gun to 250. Same thing with my bully, it goes to 250. The flash goes to 200. <clears throat> Another place here for a uh, sling mount. They didn't send me a sling mount. It didn't come with a sling mount. But I'll take three mags over a sling mount because I will never use a sling mount anyway. If you know me and you watch the channel, you will not see sling mounts on my rifles. I really need to fill this on film to make sure it'll hold air. So we'll probably have to move the young hing out into the shop because my wife's in bed right now. And I do not, that thing is loud. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take a mag. See how it fits in here. I can't see if I'm, I should have flipped the uh, screen around, but I can't see if I'm getting everything on film or not. Goes in this way, right? Yeah, it has a little slot right there. Now there's a lot of space under this. I'm gonna wanna move that set screw to where it's uh, good. And it's pretty tight. No looseness in there. And it will not close if the magazine is empty. It has a stop on it. So when you're empty, the bolt will lock back. One thing I wish that it did do. Was decock. Not gonna pull the trigger again because it is uh, not decocked. There's a lot of funky grease in there. Can you see all that funky grease? I'm probably gonna swap that out and uh, use my own use my own oil in there. But that's the blitz, baby. Semi-auto, full auto. How well does this cheek comb move? You actually have to uh, take the screw all the way out to get this cheek comb to move. You know what? I don't know. I will mess with that later and then tell you guys later. Right now it's not looking like... Well, I may want it moved up a little when I get a scope on it. I'm not sure. <clears throat> now I think... It has a little peep sight here with a little front sight here but it'll get a scope I thought it had flip up sights on it what I thought it had but I am 100% wrong like I said this came from Midway USA the full price was $1,059 I wish it was 100 something but this was just this is set you back a thousand fifty nine dollars or so, and uh, all right, we'll have to take everything to the shop, set up, see if we'll hold air, and we'll get a feel on this. All right, we're out in the shop. I got the young hing set up. I'm gonna use the same probe that I've been using for the flash and for. The uh, bully, the rifle is empty, so we're going to uh, put the cocking lever back in the open position. Get our 
field probe here inserted. This is on zero, so it's going to take a while to fill. Let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be very loud. I really can't tell ladies and gentlemen what's going on here two fifty all right I'm gonna let this water run for a while cuz uh, she needs to cool back down to at least 25 to 20 it's on 39, so it's coming. So we're holding there. I hear no leaks. I'm probably still yelling because that thing is really loud. The rifle is really nice. A little front heavy. Probably because the bottom and the rest of the gun is really, really light. So it's not bad at all. I like it. So, uh... I'm going to take the carry handle off, put an optic on it. We're not going to film that. Uh, you guys, you want to see this thing when we put it to work. Those of you not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down there. There's a little notification bell right beside it. It'll notify you as soon as we upload some content with whatever we use. This will probably be next on our videos. As soon as I get a chance to get out here, I have a side job lined up tomorrow, Sunday. Then I have to work again Monday and uh, next week. If the weather's clear, when I get off work, I'll go out here 
we'll sight the scope in. I'll zero it in on camera for you guys. First time I've done that on the channel. Go ahead and uh, take some shots down range. Move the scope for you. Let you see how we do it here to get the uh, scope zeroed in to on target. And uh, that's all for today. The Blitz is here. I'm super excited. Ready to get out here and sling some lead. And uh, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. I know you're going to enjoy it. This is a fire gun. So you guys have a good night. Out!